Today I wanted to talk about something on uh, something that's going on at my school. Um, excuse me, I'm cold. Um, every year, we, uh, as a junior class, decide on an essential question, which uh, the teachers then use to base the curriculum off of. Um, so, uh, the rising seniors, which included me, um, at the very end of the year last year. Um, we gathered up in Vermont for a camping uh, retreat, and um, we talked about uh, what we wanted our essential question to be. And it took us a very long time to actually decide um, on a even a small list of essential questions. Um, and at the end, we finally decided on one, and we felt that this this idea was able to uh, this question was able to some of the ideas that we um, were dealing with uh, throughout the year and uh, so we ended up with a question and it was what is our impact and um, we were thinking about this because oh, sorry we were thinking about this because um, this year we have a new principal and uh, he's brand new to our school we have a very uh, unique school system and um, he was brand new to our school. So it was very important that we uh, realized what kind of an impact that we wanted to have, um, not only on Todd, who is the new principal, but also on uh, the students as we are yeah, you know, leaving uh, at the end of the year. Um, so today, the whole school got together and um, we talked about um, what our impact is. Um, so there's about 400 of us and we split up into smaller uh, groups um, all with kids um, from different divisions. So we have three divisions. We have Division 1, Division 2, and Division 3. Division 1 has 7th and 8th grade, Division 2 has 9th and 10th grade, and Division 3 has 11th and 12th grade. So we have a very small school. So we broke up into groups that had each uh, division represented in them and um, we were able to talk one-on-one, -on -one. so I was paired up with an 8th grader and a 10th grade girl. And we uh, talked about, um, first we talked about um, who has impacted us and um, what we have impacted. And a lot of it came back to our friends and our family really impact us, and we've impacted them. Um, and maybe, it was usually in a positive way is what we're talking. Um, you know, our friends help us with decisions, like I mentioned. I I've been wanting to shave my head. My friends are like, don't do it. So they kind of have an imp uh, their opinions matter to me, and uh, they have an impact on what I uh, end up choosing in the end. So I have hair, so obviously you know the choice I've made. Um, and then we also talked about how um, the, the impact that we try to have. Um, a lot of kids at my school are under 18 so they can't vote um, and there's a few of us like me uh, tomorrow actually I'm turning 18 um, who have the ability to go out and vote and make an impact on uh, the, the the government and uh, politics and we talked about how the younger kids have the ability to actually uh, sway us was a word uh, my friend used um, into uh, voting for something maybe that they feel more strongly about and uh, we can give voice to the younger students maybe. Uh, the, the second question we kind of muddled around in our small groups was um, the impact we wanted to make. Um, we talked about how we wanted uh, serious leadership. I know for myself I was because I'm a senior I'm really thinking about kind of the impact that I'm going to have this year and you know what I want to make of it and I talked about how I don't want to be forgotten I want to be remembered uh, for something good um, and I kinda of want to go out with a bang is what I wrote on something else um, you know everybody wants to be kind of remembered in their own way is oh you made a difference in that way or you you know uh, made the most amazing performance your senior year or whatever um, have that small little impact on the school's history and culture. Um, and then we talked about how younger students 
um, tend to look up to us older students, uh, especially um, Division three students, um, for guidance. Um, because we kind of lead by example and we don't always realize you know um as one girl said you never know who's watching um you know you you should put your best uh self forward because there are kids around who are looking up to you as role models and you might not realize it because they might not come up to you and be like you're my role model but they're they're going to um see you as somebody they they can idolize in a way not necessarily but for lack of a better word uh, and so we talked about how sometimes it just takes us older students having a conversation with these younger students and um, you know really getting to know them because there can be kind of frightening to come up to a kid my age I mean I remember when I was little it was like oh my god you know an eighth grader talked to me and I was like in fourth grade I'm like oh they're so cool uh, I didn't realize you know these kids would one day become my peers when I would go off to other schools and get jobs. The, these kids, the age wasn't going to really matter. But when you're that young, everybody seems, as one of my teachers said, everybody seems like they're 25 if they're really old. Like, um, it's just kind of how we present ourselves as old students. We're very confident. And um, a lot of the younger students are still trying to figure out who they are and are still kind of in that awkward phase. So they feel uncomfortable maybe approaching us older students for help or guidance. Um, and we need to, us older students need to be more open and um, kind of instigate that, oh, do you need help with something? Or, hi, how's your day? What's your name? Uh, a simple smile. Sometimes those things can, can help a great deal um, with uh, being able to stay in touch with the younger students. Um, at the end of these small discussion groups, we wrote down kind of a one big idea um, that we all kind of agreed on with our, it was our takeaway. And um, my small group uh, talked about how we need to bring the, the leadership out in the younger students. Um, they're kind of, you know, as I said, kind of afraid. Um, but uh, us older students want to help them um, kind of dis discover the leader in them. So after all that, we sh the whole school came back in uh, our auditorium and um, each group um, from the entire school shared out their big idea. And after that, the other divisions uh, went off and did other stuff, but uh, Division 3 stayed back and we um, had a big talk about um, what kind of impact we want to have and um, how we can make some of these uh, stronger connections with the younger students and so that's that's a big part of um, what division three is we try to interact with the younger students because you know you never know who will be uh, coming up uh, the ranks and taking over our spots and uh, we need to show leadership and uh, respect and uh, share the knowledge so we talked about that for a while and we ended up with kind of we came back together as a whole division and talked about um, how, again, it's as simple as saying hello and getting to know uh, the younger students, um, but also times it's pairing up with um, an advisory and kind of sticking with that uh, Division One advisory and kind of hanging out with them and learning more about them. Um, so when I think about this question, this what is our impact, um, it's very broad, but we wanted it to be a broad question when we originally wrote it. And um, it's really going to have me thinking this year, um, being somebody who is looking at community and culture, um, these essential questions are a big part of um, our community and especially our culture at Parker. And I feel like as a community, um, we can make an impact if we want to, but we need to uh, take the leadership role. Um, so the question I leave you all with is... What kind of impact do you want to make? Maybe on yourself, at your school, in your community, in the world, um, who knows, but, but what kind of impact do you want to make? What, what is your impact, ultimately? So, uh, stew on that. And um, I did a Tumblr post all about this. I'll put a link in the description bar. 
Um, and I'm also going to have, uh, if you have, if you decide to answer in these questions, whether it be in a video or on Tumblr, um, just um, do a tag, what is our impact, question mark. Don't forget the question mark. Um, so we can see how people are responding to this question because I think it's a very intriguing uh, question at this time of our life. So I will see you next time, maybe with more about um, our impact, but maybe it'll be about music. Who knows? Have a good rest of your school year. Bye.